Hey guys, it's Mark and Tanya. Thanks very much for joining us today. So today is not one of our typical videos. Today we're going to talk to you about two problems that we have run into in the midst of our van build journey and that is one of them. Oh, I tested positive for COVID mm. and then... I tested positive because we like doing stuff together. Right. So once she got it, I'm like, well, no way am I just letting her going to have it. So I made sure I got it too. So we think yes. we got it about two weeks ago to the volleyball conference. Uh, a volleyball tournament that we went to for our daughter. I think that's where we got it. We're kind of on the recovering end of it, but it pretty much wiped us out for the last week and a half. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. I We're on think, the upswing. Yeah. I still think yeah. we couldn't jog across the street without passing out, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's it, it, it was pretty brutal. So we yeah. are on the recovering end of it, but literally we made no progress in the van at all. Yes. Yep. And what's yeah. problem number two? Problem number two is... Yeah, HOA does not like the VAN. They don't like the van at all. Nope. Not even a little bit. No, and it's um, in the, it's parked in our driveway. Yes. Um, so they um, don't want it, they don't want to hear at all. So basically, we are renting a place, a facility about five minutes up the road behind an electrical contractor, uh, some public space for to store the van. We pay over a hundred bucks a month to do it. Um, and we bring it here every once in a while when we want to work on it. So we're trying to figure out with the bylaws of the association what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do. Um, this picture, we had it here just around 48 hours and we got a fine of $70 for it. So we've got to go ahead and fight this. But it's a total drag, right? You start working on the van, then you've got to get rid of it and get it, get it away from the house for almost a week. And you bring it back. So before we were kind of, you know, when you had a couple hours a day, you'd go and do a little work on it. Kept you kept it fresh in your mind. Now it's like we're starting over every time, so mm -hmm. it's kind of a drag. Yeah, mm. it is. Well, it's just another hurdle. So um, to our viewers, we'd love to hear from you, so give us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We know we're not the only ones that are trying to work on our van at home. So if you live in a, a community and you have an HOA and you've had this problem, this dilemma before, um, please let us know what, how did you handle it? Because uh, we'd like to hear what what did you do with it no. with that kind of problem. So um. oh, anyway, our our oh audio. yes, so yes. One of our viewers, Billy. Thank you so much for doing this kind thing for it's us. Awesome. He got us this awesome set of lapel mics, so both yes. of them are hidden in our hair. Um, but <laughs> the audio should be much clearer, and it'll be much easier to edit too. Yes, so Billy, very much. thank you, thank yes. you, thank you so much. They work great. Thank We're you. We're really excited to use them. Yes. So, um, well, anyway. Okay. Until next time. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us. We will be back next week with an actual work video. That's our plan at least. Yes, so, maybe cabinets. Yeah, yeah. All right. Goal. So we will see you then. Bye.